welcome back to stage one at Hollywood Casting and Film Studios. My name is Anka Maria Kirita, and today I'm gonna have a guest, very special guest, that is related to this studio somehow. You will find out all about it. His name is Moses Munoz. Hey, Anka. Hi, Moses. How are you? How are you? Oh, that's so sweet. Nobody ever did that before. <laughs> Thank you. How is your day? Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate um, that. Moses is an actor, a model, hey and a producer. Uh, which one do you like the most? Which part do you like the most? What is your favorite? Oh, well, I started uh, behind the scenes working, uh, I think, five, six years ago. I was coordinating and working as an assistant on set. So I like that. And when I started producing, it was great. Um, I was also acting at the time, so I caught the bug and um, kept acting in, uh, in everything from commercials and industrials to like films. It's, you know. It looks better for you, it seems better for you to be part of your own production sometimes? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if, yeah, put it to you this way. Um, a lot of major actors nowadays, I'm not major by any means, but a lot of like superstar actors, they'll act and then at a certain point you'll see where they start getting behind the scenes and producing and directing themselves. And you get to do things that you actually want to do when, you, when you're producing or directing. Uh, it is tougher though, yeah, I will say that. Directing, it's more complex. Yeah, because it almost takes two sides of the brain, you know, mm -hmm. like directing, producing is like business or like handling everything and acting is more um, it's freeing. If you don't have a passion for films or filmmaking, acting, directing, producing, anything, you'll be out of the game very soon. Uh, tell me about the first experience you had behind the cameras. Behind the cameras? In front of the cameras and behind the cameras. Let's do both because you're an actor and you're <laughs> a producer. So. I guess I'm a producing actor now. The first time I ever got on a set behind the scenes, it was The Guardian with uh, Ashton Kutcher, Kevin Costner. It was shooting in Louisiana, where I was at at the time. And I got on set, and I started hovering around the video village, which is where like the director and producers and scripty and everybody sits that are like the important people. Oh, wow. And uh, I was just hovering around, watching it happen. Somebody was nice enough, which just doesn't happen all the time. Somebody was nice enough to be like, hey, uh, do you want to sit here and watch? It's like, uh, heck yeah, I would love that. And I got to watch uh, Ashton Kutcher, Kevin Costner, I got to watch them work. Uh, I was only supposed to be on set for like two, three days, but I, I got to be on set for almost a week. And I really just, I, I really liked it. And there was just something about it, watching these stars work the way they did and how they operated both in front and just off camera. Uh, it really, That's an amazing first experience. Yeah, it, I mean, it's Kevin Costner, <laughs> it's Ashton Kutcher, so yeah, it was pretty amazing. That was my first time behind a camera. And at the beginning of the interview, I was just mentioning for everybody to know that you are somehow connected to Hollywood casting and film. Uh, tell us about that. I'm somehow connected? Yes. <laughs> Recently, I know you started partnering with... Uh, the yeah, um, I was casting out of here as well, my first uh, short here in LA, and um, I got to talking to Vinay, he's one of the owners. Well, Vinay uh, actually went to the exact same college that I went to. Oh wow, so, no world. Uh, we, we both had the same alma mater, we hit it off, I did my shoot, and um, some time later on, I was going to come up here for another casting, and uh, me and him got to talking again. And um, I was developing a um, this group. It's Filmmakers United. It's it's just a group for um, filmmakers to collaborate, and uh, hopefully all of us can can bring um, what we can offer to each other, just to the table, and just film. And it's something only in California, or you want to extend this for well, right now, makers in the United States? Yeah, right now it's in Cali. Uh, we we got a, a base here in LA, and we're in San Diego, 
and we're looking to expand east eventually. Mm -hmm. um, Tell but us that's, about that. You guys have meetings where you all sit together and come up with ideas, brainstorming, or how is that work? Yeah, uh, it's it's interesting actually because it's kind of like HDNF, Hollywood casting and film. As a, for producing, I just wanted to shoot. I just wanted to shoot. Uh, I hated having to wait for other people to uh, to one invite me to shoot or as an actor to get cast, which you know it's it's a tedious tedious process auditioning. Um, so I was just like, forget it. I have a camera. You know, let me get some lights. Let me get some some gear. I know experienced crew people. You know, we've worked on projects together, so I have all them kind of in a Rolodex type deal, and uh, I would just call them up and we would just film. And I just thought, why not just offer that to other filmmakers here in LA, because I know there's a lot of them who just want to film, or they want to get their, their project or their idea out there. Um, so that's where I came up with the idea of just taking, taking somebody's project from script to screen. Mm -hmm. I can I can accommodate, facilitate that, you know, incubate filmmakers, mm -hmm. if you want to call it that. And so HNF, uh, they they were kind enough to to say that they'd be open to us, you know, of course casting out of here, but also if we need to shoot something or you know need to to, to work in the space. This is a, this is their mm -hmm. space, yeah. Yeah. you know. It's it's awesome, you know, to to have this to have access to this. And uh, and really, it gives you it gives you a solid base to work with. Something that I'm asking all my guests: What would be okay. the number one tip that you would give to someone that comes and asks for help? What would be the number one advice? The number one advice for help for someone what? who wants to start making movies. Start making movies as like a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. Just film. Just just film. Uh, study. Study films, study TV shows, whatever you like. Like right now, I love Game of Thrones. I love uh, Vikings. I, um, I always go back to the Dark Knight films. The, um, and I, I got the scripts for those. And as I'm watching them, I'm reading it too. And, and you're I'm learning. And I'm learning, I'm learning the process. Learning your craft. Uh, that's that's kind of the big thing for both sides actually if you mm -hmm. want to do filmmaking or acting you have to learn the craft you have to go through it you have to go through the process so when I came to LA first thing I did was gotten to to acting classes I mean I had done them before but not like in LA mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. LA is like the heartbeat of the film industry yeah. everything starts and eventually comes right back mm -hmm. here so guys film film and film yeah and learn every day as oh, yeah, Moses constantly. it's getting um, to the point that has so much to say he has so much experience you can do it as well thank you so much Moses thank you thank you